we go with another how to recreate something like this tutorial. Um, here we go. If I play this one, it's from ball.com, Dutch company, internet shop. And we want to recreate something like this, where all the boxes are dropping and they interact with each other and they bounce off this guy and so on. So to do that, you need something in Max, which is called Mass FX. Here we go in recreating the something like this thing. Um, so I recreated the scene. So this is the guy standing on the floor. These are the gift packages which will drop down, interact with each other and interact with the guy itself. So he, some of the packages will bounce on his head and drop off and, and so on. So these are the parts we need. We I created this plane. It's not really needed for the simulation, but I'll use it anyway. Um, so here we go. What we need to do is use MassFX. That's typical for these kind of simulations. So where can you find it? Animation down here in MassFX or you do a right click down here on empty space and open the MassFX toolbar. So now what you need is the following. Um, first of all we need to tell which parts are working inside the simulation. Ground plane not needed officially because there is by default a ground plane ready for Mass FX, but I'll leave it as it just looks like. We need the guy and the guy needs to interact with the packages, but it shouldn't do anything else. So the only thing it has to do, it has to be included inside the simulation. It doesn't move itself, but it will get some packages on its head and they will jump off and fall on the other packages. So this one is called a static rigid body. That's it. Then we have all the gift packages and those need to drop down based on gravity, interact with each other and bounce off this guy and then drop on the floor. So that's why they are called dynamic rigid bodies. So they do some kind of dynamics. That's it. So you put those on and now you can see this one has a mass fix rigid body modifier on it and it's set to static and all these packages in one go are set to dynamic same rigid body one. So now all you need to do is press play and let mass f x calculate how it should work and what you can see is that the simulation keeps running. I should press the replay down here and what I want to do is decrease the gravity a bit because it's dropping down really fast. So let's put it at let's say 50 and rerun the simulation. Here we go. You can see now the speed of the dropping of the boxes is way slower. You can see them bouncing off of this guy. You can see them falling down, sliding off of his head and falling on the ground. So this is the simulation as we like it. And down here you can see that this one keeps running but it doesn't drop down because it's the infamous ground plane which MassFX uh, creates by itself. You see. Alright, so this looks good. So now let's increase this and let's store this animation because I like it. So let's increase the um, time configuration down here. Let's put it at the blue, let's say 500 for now. Okay, that's it. Done. And now we need to start baking the simulation. So what we do is we tested it. We did all the settings and now we press bake all. And here it goes. It starts calculating and creating keyframes. So I hope I did a good job in selecting 500. Yep, looks like it. So this whole simulation, as it is now, will be stored inside the keyframes. And so you can play it back directly without using MassFX because it's now baked inside all of these objects. So this is kind of it. It stops. All right. Now if I play it back, yeah, I could even close MassFX, I don't need it anymore. Close this one, close this one. Now replay it and you can see it's playing now all these things. So it's now a baked animation and it kind of looks like the guy we had. Let's try this from the camera standpoint of view. So here's the guy. He doesn't look anything worried yet. All these boxes drop down, bounce off his head, interact with each other and that's it. It's that simple. So if you want to recreate an effect like you've seen in the commercial, use MassFX if you need something like this. Thanks.